Co-op funded New England, they're not your traditional bank. You know, they lend to, you know, cooperatives and nonprofits. And there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I think starting a co-op is like starting culture and a business at the same time. There are all types of people in all parts of the population and in all sectors of the economy who form co-ops. The mission is to support the success of these businesses. These people want you to succeed and they want to help you keep an eye on the big picture and down the road of where you're going. You know, initially the co-op fund was started in 75 to lend to uh, provide healthy food access. And here we are, 40 years later, still funding healthy food access on a, on a yeah. bigger scale. You know, coming out of the social movement of the 60s, a lot of things were happening and people were going out into the field that sort of looking at what, what they could do. And then we started getting requests from Boston, Cambridge, and starting around New England, I think Nofa came in. So we met, set up a little account and raised about $50,000. Co-ops are used by a lot of different communities for a lot of different purposes in a lot of different ways. And we're open to all of them. So we finance community-owned food co-ops, we finance worker-owned businesses, we finance farmer and fisher-owned um, marketing firms, uh, housing that's owned by tenants. And because of that, we're able to help cross-pollinate. We're, help, we're able to help um, introduce people who are very deeply involved with one sector to some of the lessons and successes that we're seeing in some of the other sectors. Within the co-op community, there's more of a responsibility and an integrity that they feel the need to pay back the co-op fund because they know that the money will be used elsewhere for other cooperatives. With the Co-op Fund in New England, not only do they provide us with resources in order to grow our business, but they provide us with consultation and know-how. They have people involved that know all about cooperatives and the difference between running a conventional business and a cooperative, and that's been a huge help to us this year. Stone Soup has benefited greatly from CFNE, particularly not only just in resource financially, but also with people power and resources of other people in the community. We were able to create the co-op academy and really take you know, those resources, people power, brain power, and share it. And that's where definitely CFNE was able to step in and contribute. One of the principles of the co-op is the solidarity. In New England, Co-op Foundation understand that very well. In the first moment, they give a set of all the support set of move forward. And today is in a very good position. They say recycle energy company that work in Boston neighborhood. We had a need. Equal Exchange would never have grown to where it was if Co-op Fund in New England hadn't been there for them at the time that they were. And you know, 20 years later, Equal Exchange is turning to Co-op Fund in New England and saying, here is cash to do that work. I went to the first Co-op Fund in New England board meeting, and at the time, the executive director, Laddie Lucian, resigned. Because we're all sitting in a room, and they looked around. Laddie had announced his resignation, and they looked around the room and said, well, who knows about co-ops? Who knows about finance? And there I was. I got the job. So I started, and it is 29 years ago, coming up this week. As of the end of 2014, we've made 728 loans. The smallest loan we've made is $400. The largest loan is about a million now. They've all been repaid except for 1%. And the money always comes. That's the thing. I feel like it, there's a certain spiritual aspect of money in, money out, redistributing the wealth of America.